Hi, this is Ron McTuber playing Hunter Call of Wild on PC, and today we have True Racks. Yes, this is Ron's first video on True Racks. Now, if you don't know what True Racks is, it is True Random Antler Configuration System that breaks it down. You're going to get random antlers for all your species once they're introduced. The first species that have been changed are whitetail and blacktail, and that's what Ron's after. We're on Leighton Lakes. We've got some bears in front of us. We're not after those, we're after whitetail and blacktail. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to hunt for them, try and get one of each species. Then we're going to take a close look with my cinematic camera and just show you some of the variations of that. There's supposed to be over a million in total. Imagine that. You're never going to see the same rack twice. Some will look similar, and this is one thing I'll show you with a cinematic camera. They might look similar, but when you get them close up, you will see the differences, subtle differences, but you can definitely see it, and it's really good I'd have done it. Right, so let's try and get a blacktail first. We started at uh, Balmont, got loads of beers, we've got some female uh, blacktails near us, so hopefully we can get a male to show you. Let's give them a call. It is a really good area, Balmont. You get a lot of blacktail around this area. You can get whitetail a bit further up, sort of in the middle, and then willy peg you get more black tail as well so we're going to start here first try and get a male black tail hopefully a group <laughs> he's shouting at me i've got the 243 on i've got my caller um a lot of people will use the mosin as well so use that because that's great it's just at the moment i've got the 243 on but the mosin is amazing a lot of people are using that and it's well worth a buy before you ask it is like probably one of the best guns in the game now let's try and find this black tail. One of the things I'll say is these white tails are amazing. When you see some of the high racks I'll show you later on, they are absolutely stunning. In classic we used to have various different racks. Uh, once that got brought in, because that had a similar system to this. It had fixed racks first, and after about three years we got true racks into that. So now we've got the same or similar system in Call of Wild, which a lot of people have wanted since Call of Wild's been out. The high racks, there's wide beams, there's all kinds of different racks and variations from like long times, short times, wide beams. It really does change up the game now and a lot of people are better to have different variations in the trophy lodges so it's a great addition. When I show you some of those really big white tail racks uh, with a cinematic cam you'll be blown away because they look stunning. Um, it's worth adding uh, this true rack system just for the white tails because it really has changed them. They look really good. Some of the black tails might look similar um, but I'll show you close up that is from a distance it might just look like the normal prong, fork, style diamond racks when you get close up you can see little curves of tines uh, the wide beams uh, sort of curving or little kicks off them it's really good how it is we are going to get true racks uh, non typicals as well in the future not yet but that is going to come as well so we've got our first black tail in front of us looks like quite a nice one it's uh, probably a four so that's going to be a gold in the trophy lodge I'm going to have rares of gold or above or diamonds, that's what we're going for. We're not having gold normal, gold's too common in black tails and white tails. Often in groups of white tails you'll get twos which will probably be gold, you want threes for diamonds and for black tails you want fives. But if it's a high gold and a rare then yeah that's definitely going to go in. So as you can see from that one, that just looks similar to a normal, typical black tail. We're going to shoot this, but like I say, I'm going to show you the different variations with the cinematic camera, and that's where it becomes more apparent where you see the differences. Down you go. <laughs> so there's our first new True Rax system animal. It's a black tail. Let's collect it and let's have a closer look at it. Now here's the hit information. Left lung liver, that's normal. But what's new is this, it's the true score. And when we click on here, you've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. This gives you the total score when combined. When you click on A, the main beam length, 
it'll tell you the variations and that's what you do for each one and it'll tell you each so you can see there is differences now this, that one is quite uh, symmetry uh, symmetrical is that how you say it <laughs> but you can see what I'm saying some of them look with black tail very similar or are very similar see look all that is literally the same as like the old sort of system on that rack so we've got a bit unlucky there but I will show you that there is plenty of them which are not similar and there's little differences so we'll click that and move on we're not going to uh, taxi demise that one yeah shame that was a little symmetrical uh, that one but we'll try and get some uh, better ones to show in a minute let's see if there's any more around We've got plenty of females around is there any more males they look like all females at the minute yep yeah, another female I think what we'll do is we'll try and find some white tail in a minute. Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> Look, we've got a black bear. I don't really want to shoot that, but it's right in front of us, so we might as well. Eh? A little bonus. Thanks for a few bullets. So we'll run over and collect that. And then we'll move on and we'll go after some white tails. Now, the white tails, like I say, this system, if it was just one animal, white tails, uh, because of the racks just so good so we've got a blonde male bonus bear there right lung left lung not a very big one it's a silver but it gives us a bit of cash doesn't it let's accept that now we're going to move to the middle of Leighton Lakes now uh, I'll show you where we'll start from in a minute but I spotted a group just over this river I'm just going to sneak up hopefully get close enough to show you the racks before we shoot them now on the map this is where we started, Mount Kraken, uh, outpost, and we've gone down here, and we're just going across, trying to get across the river, and just to where this group is, they're all drinking and grazing. I'm hoping to pick a few of them off. What are you going to be after first? Is it going to be black tail, true racks, or is it going to be the white tails? What are you going after first? What is your main priority? Have you had any big trophies this week? Ron's been smashing them. I had um, an albino kudo the other day, so that's got to go in the lodge. I haven't mounted it yet. I also had a diamond wildebeest. Uh, we were smashing it yesterday. So many good trophies. There we go. So there's a two white tailed deer, a small one. Often you'll find groups like this on Leighton in the middle sort of area. If you go from Runashi and then go up and sort of left, right in the middle of this lake system, you often find groups. Sometimes you can find up to 20. That's got two really high kickers right in the middle, big prongs. So that looks interesting. The other one looks a bit more sort of like a handlebar rack. But uh, yeah, yesterday was doing really well, uh, smashing the animals out of the park. So quite new uh, nice new trophies to add to the lodge and hopefully we get some nice new ones today I would like a diamond of one of them uh, or a rear it might not happen today but that is definitely gonna continue after the video if we don't get them today but it's just nice to show you uh, the footage and uh, to show you the system and how it works drop in the comments if you want to see anything for Call of the Wild or Classic. Classic's had a great week this week as well. It's gone free to play. I'm gonna do some videos on that soon as well. So don't think I, I forgot about that. I have, I'm just doing so many things at the minute. It's unreal. Uh, but yeah, Classic's gone free to play now. So they've changed all the business plan with that. They've got rid of licenses. You can earn the guns and stuff uh, through just um, playing the game. So check that out if you play Classic. If you don't play classic, give it a go now because like I say it is free to play. But back to getting these deer and look, look at that one there. It's got really high big tines in the middle. That one's got a wider rack on the left. That one looks nice on the left. I might take that one. The twos, so they'll probably go up to golds with the right shot. Mm, which one do we take? I might try and take both, but one's going to probably run when I do this. I <laughs> love that. How often does that happen? It will sit there for five minutes not moving, then you just get the sight up, starts moving, or goes behind a tree or something. Yeah, look at that. That's got a really nice rack, so we'll shoot that one first and hopefully get this second one before it runs. 
There it goes. Might have pulled that one a little bit behind. That might be something like a liver. I think I just a little bit. But I want to get the deers to try and show you the different variations. So if we pulled it a bit and we lose a bit of score, I don't mind too much because at least I can show you the deer, what the antlers are like. So let's run over and collect them. Which animal are you waiting for the most with the true racks? They're going to implement them each uh, in stages. So we've got white tail, black tail. Then it's probably going to be elk next. Um, then you've obviously got other ones like moose and red deer. What's going to be your species you're most looking forward to? Red deer should be really good. If you think about the variation of the really big ones. So imagine those. Uh, moose. Moose are supposed to be quite complicated to do because of the palms and stuff. Uh, that's why they're going to take a bit longer. But yeah, it's going to really add to the the, uh, the game. Now we've got this in. Oh, that was a vital. So where is it? It couldn't have gone far because that was a kill shot. There it is. Just collect it. I think we're definitely at the other one, but uh, I'm not sure it's going to be a a fatal one straight off the bat. Uh, so it's a gold that one there look uh, right long left long nice shot let's have a look at the uh, true score here we go yeah look how long those are now so that's really nice I do like that so you've got A, B, C D, E and F makes your total score 232, it's a gold main beam knit, as you can see variations on this one on the left uh, slight difference length of tines 4727, 4702 so again on the left variation number of tines 7 on each side and slight variation on the left and right on the circumference so you can definitely see it there and that is a beautiful rack but sadly, that's not going in Bond's lodge because it's not big enough. Even though it's very, very nice, a lot of people will, it's not going in my lodge. I want one bigger. I want a diamond or I want an albino gold at least or something like that. So let's try and get the other one, show you that. And here's the other one. It's a smaller one. Uh, totally different uh, rack again. Let's look at the true score. Now look at that. It's got two long ones in the middle. Got a slight bend on the left, but uh, you, you can see 29.14, slightly different on the left to the right, 24.99, and that one. So yeah, you can definitely see the difference between what well, one we just shot and this one. Look, that only had three. The last one had seven tines on each side, and the circumference. So 183. So there, you can see. I've only shot two, but you can already see the different variation. Already. So let's take a close up look now with the cinematic camera and this will show you the true differences in the racks. Right, I found a big group of whitetails and as you can see, look at these racks here, really high middle points there. Slight curve on the left, but some of these you can see really good variation. Look at these, it's like a band of brothers, isn't it? Load of males, really nice racks. And you can see the variation, that one's got two high prongs with smaller tines on the left and right whereas the one in the middle has got like a handlebar rack but all pretty much the same length so it's good to see those variations look side by side but totally different racks and look and then you've got another one again this is like a little crown rack really nice little high top you can definitely see the variation between all these three um, really clearly different rack styles and a great addition to the game got some more over here I'll freeze this one here because if you look at that one there, look at that. On the left, you've got a nice curve all the way around. And on the right, that's missing. That's totally missing. So look, left and right, totally different on that one. And this one is sort of like a flat handlebar with a couple of uh, tines on it. So you can see the variation there really well. Now, I found some black tails there, a group of juveniles. They're all pretty symmetrical racks. So you can't see much variations on these, but I'm just showing you what the differences can be like. See a little difference like left and right on the main beams, but not much uh, really until you really look close. And what I'll show you in a minute is some bigger ones, slightly better, uh, with a bit more variation. But I just wanted to show you a 
few different styles and variations so you get the idea of what this true rack system is all about. So I'll let those wander off and I'll show you this groove now. Now here we go, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. Wait for it to turn its head there, let's freeze it. Now look on the left, that top tine turns in on the left, whereas the one on the right is totally straight. Now if you've seen that at the distance, you might not see much of that, but close up you can really see that. Now we've got a bigger one here, you can see on the left beam there, look how that curves in more than the right. And then look again here, we've got a fork one, instead of like a more diamond one, it's a bit more open. Um, but you can see curves and different uh, shapes to the rack, which is what we want from the animal. So you can see it in the black tail, some from distance might not look different, but you can definitely see it when you close up uh, and when you collect them. I think we've got a smaller one on my left. We'll take a look at that. What's this one here? Yeah, it's tiny, look. So he's got like almost two prongs and two sticking out. But it's nice to have all these bit different variations. That's the whole point of the system and in your trophy lodge. You'll probably be able to fill trophy lodges up with different variations of one species, won't you? You can have one of each, or you can't have one of each because there's a million. <laughs> so you best get building if you want one of each. Um, but you know what I mean. Uh, you could fill a, a whole uh, hunting lodge with just one species of different variations. I'm sure people will do that as well with their favourite species. So we're going to fly over to these now, and we've got white tails. Now let's look at this one. It's quite a small one, but as you can see flat handlebar, two prongs, what's this one, is it sort of similar style, it's a smaller one, these are probably ones, so they won't score very high, yep, as you can see two prongs on each side, now look at this, now that's a beauty, look at that, high top rack, really high middle tines, but that's a beauty, that really is nice, let's just freeze that there a minute, but you can see curves on the beam, curves on the tines. That's really brought the white tails to life. I do like that. In classic, they used to be my favourite kind of racks, uh, the big crown racks with big high tines. But now look at this one. This is like, this needs to go on my uh, wall if I can find him. But look at that. That's a beauty. Look how high those uh, middle tines are. That is an absolute beauty. That's the whole reason having things like True Racks in the game. That's absolutely brilliant. That's been me, Ron McCube. We've been taking a close look at the new True Rack system for Quarter Wild. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.